another thing that was kind of interesting was people were taking pictures of us, like we were like, like display, like without asking or anything. Just that's like, okay. Like literally, like <laughs> taking pictures of us while we're eating. I'm like, we were just curious. We? <laughs> Maybe they thought we were like celebrities. We us. are. <laughs> Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Twosome. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. We have a special one today, don't we? Don't forget, we have new episodes every Sunday. Oh yeah. Today is a very special episode and we know we always say that, but this one is special in that it's very limited in the opportunity you can do this. We're having vegan afternoon tea at Notch 8 at Hotel Vancouver in downtown Vancouver, BC. It's not only afternoon tea, but it's afternoon tea in the window. So we sat by the stores at Hotel Vancouver and we sat in literally a display case where we were on display and everyone walking by could see us having tea. Some people thought it was cool. Some people thought we were goofs. It was a little bit of a mixture. People were looking at us as they were walking by. Fairmont Hotel Vancouver is a very fancy hotel. It's right in the middle of downtown. And it's not cheap, for sure. This afternoon tea, because it's even more special, it's a little bit expensive. And I've had several people ask on our social media that they don't see a vegan menu on their site, which is true. We had to make sure that they do offer a vegan selection for their afternoon tea, but they can definitely cater to vegans. So don't be afraid to go ahead and let them know and they'll make a special little afternoon tea menu for you. But you still gotta be careful though, because the cream that was on the table, I had to ask, I don't trust anybody ever. I'm like, is this vegan? The guy's like, uh, no, and then grabbed it. I'm like, okay, bro, come on. Come on, what was the point of calling and requesting vegan? And you're gonna give us cream, milk? <laughs> they corrected it though. They brought us some almond right away, but, but be careful, always be careful. Unless you're at a vegan restaurant, don't trust anybody. You lead this because I'm a big round fries kind of a guy. This is totally, it's fancy pants, this is deal. I love having afternoon tea. In a lot of cities we've been to, I've said to Amir, let's go have afternoon tea. So we haven't had afternoon tea in Vancouver in a long time. And we thought this would be a really cool experience to share because it is very limited. It's only during the summer when the weather is nice that you can have afternoon tea in this display window. So they sit you up. There are two little black staircases that you walk up and the space is very, very narrow. Just imagine like in a display window, there's very little space. So you're kind of squeezed into this little, <laughs> table, these two chairs, and having afternoon tea. Now, some people might be like, why would I want to be sitting here where everyone can see me having afternoon tea? So it's probably not for everyone, but I thought it would be a cool thing to do. And we had made little vegan to some signs to put in the display so that when people walked by and they were probably curious, they could maybe check out our YouTube channel on our social media. For afternoon tea, they gave you a little menu. We could choose from the loose leaf tea selection and I chose the Provence, which was like a black tea with vanilla. And I chose some kind of a fruity tea. I don't even remember what it was, but it was pink and very sweet and tasted pretty good. How'd you like your tea? I really like my tea. Like this is a very traditional black tea. I didn't add any of the almond milk or the sugar to it. I just had it straight out black tea. I really enjoyed it. It smelled really good. What did you think of my tea? Tasted pretty good. I mean, I'm no stranger to black tea. I enjoyed it. What do you think of mine? I thought your tea tasted like diluted kids vitamins, like Flintstones vitamins ground up <laughs> and then diluted with hot water. So you didn't like it? No, I don't like fruity teas. 
I mean, I like fruity teas, but his tasted really like diluted candy water. No, I, th I thought it was all right. It was definitely different, but it was pretty decent. Let's talk about the food. What should we start with? Because we're vegans, the afternoon tea menu printed on the paper menu didn't apply to us. They created like a whole thing for us to have, which is really cool. I really appreciate when a restaurant can do that. I want to I add something. Diana says she really appreciates that the restaurant would do that. But I think for those prices, we should have been getting back robs as well. So, I mean, you're paying for it. So it's not like they're doing you a favor. Just wanna, just, just wanna put that out there. Yeah, but not every place will have afternoon tea that they can make vegan or are willing to make vegan. It came with a savory section, a section of scones and something else, which we'll talk about. And then the last section was desserts. Let's talk about the food. What should we start with? Let's start with the savory selection of sandwiches. And we're gonna go with the bell pepper first. So it was chopped up bell peppers. And I think it was sitting on top of onion jam. I don't particularly like bell peppers. So for this one, I didn't like it as much as all the other sandwiches. Well, I liked one even less. And they'll talk about that coming up. But I didn't think it was that great of a little sandwich. What did you think? I thought this one was just all right as well. Peppers and jam. I would never order it. I would never order that, but it was worth trying. Next, we had a little sandwich with marinated mushrooms on top of eggplant. Now this was delicious. The mushrooms were full of flavor because they had been marinated. The eggplant was nice and soft and the flavors went really well together. I could have had another one of these. I thought again, this one was just decent. <gasps> the mushrooms were really good. Didn't love the eggplant very much. The bread was nice and fresh and soft. Decent. <laughs> Next, we had a carrot lox sandwich. So. Instead of smoked salmon, which is quite typical, it was made of carrot logs. And we've had carrot log sandwiches before many times at different places, but this one was a really good one. I enjoyed this one a lot. This one was my favorite. Tasty, fresh, two layers, sandwich. Enjoyed it. What do we got next? The next sandwich is probably my least favorite. It was one with cauliflower and the cauliflower didn't really taste like anything. It was just too bland. So no for me. What did you think? I agree with you. You didn't love it. Not that flavorful. Could have left this one, right? Let's talk about the artichoke sandwich next. I quite like this one. The artichoke had a nice taste to it, bit of a sourness. It was really good on the avocado. I enjoyed it. What do you think of this one? I liked this artichoke sandwich as well. It was flavorful. I like artichokes. The avocado was delicious with the artichokes. It was a good sandwich. I think for the savory ones, the favorite one of mine was the mushroom and eggplant. And Amir's was? Carrot Lux. Moving on, we had scones and a little ceramic dish of Butternut squash. At first I was like, what is this? I couldn't figure out if it was a sweet or savory item. And then as I ate more and more, I was like, okay, this is squash with little toppings of, I think, granola or some kind of nuts, candy nuts on top of it. Interesting. I felt a lot of the elements of this tea incorporated fall flavors. So butternut squash is a fall kind of vegetable. I think that's why they used it. But I wasn't really a fan of the butternut squash dish. I didn't know it was squash. I thought it was, I don't know what it, I didn't know, I didn't know what it was. I was trying you to figure, figure it out. out. Yeah. I was trying to figure it out. I, couldn't, I wasn't sure what it was, but it wasn't my favorite at all. 
What about the scone? The scones we had two each. It was too many scones. Well, I mean, if I had loved the scones, I probably wouldn't be saying that it's too many scones. The scones were a little bit dry. And usually um, when you have scones and jam, they give you some cream. Right. And I was like, they couldn't make a vegan version of like clotted cream or some kind of cream for us to have with our scones. I was sad or even butter or something, but no, just a side of apple jam. And again, fall flavors, apple. We could have used two apple jams for four scones between the two of us. And I'm sure we could have asked but the scones are really heavy and like I said, I didn't enjoy them that much. So I only ate one scone. Yeah, I agree with you, the scones being a bit dry. And I, I was hoping they'd be a little bit warmer. The apple jam was really good. But again, you're right. It wasn't enough of it to go for four scones. And I've never been to afternoon tea where there was more than one item of one thing. That's not true. We have? Yeah, scones often, they give you more than one scone. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. There you have it, folks. What was your favorite here? <laughs> scones or the butternut? Neither of them. I'll go with the scone. It was a better one of the two for sure. Before we talk about the sweets, let's talk about the sweetest vegan YouTube channel. This one. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'll get to it. Press that subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss any episodes. Now the best part. <laughs> it says up here. <laughs> Which one should we start with? Let's start with that strawberry mousse whip thing in that little glass jar. Oh, okay. Delicious. This one was my favorite out of all the desserts. Strawberries and chocolate was the theme of all the sweets that were in this afternoon tea. And this one was so light and so fresh and really strawberry tasty. Like not fake strawberry, but real strawberry. It was just so nice to have. I loved it. Nice and delicious and sweet. The strawberry was nice and fresh. The cream part was super yummy as well. Really well done. Enjoy this one. Next, we have the coconut panna cotta. I liked it. You could definitely taste the coconut. It was light. That's why it was one of the first desserts we started with because I didn't want the chocolate to overpower this taste. I enjoyed this one. I liked it too. It was nice and light. The condensity was really good. Tasty one. And then again, another strawberry, so couldn't go wrong. Next was this cake that I thought at first was tiramisu because it kind of had that color and the layers. But then when I had it, I think it was more like a milk chocolate cake or a cake with milk chocolate, like vegan milk chocolate. Different layers of cake with chocolate inside it. It was not too sweet, quite light. I enjoyed this one. What did you think? I have a big sweet tooth. If you're a regular here, you know that. So I thought this was really nicely done as well. Nicely layered, delicious, sweet, chocolatey. Oh, chocolate is my favorite. So you can't go wrong. Loved it. Next was another cake, chocolate, but this time it was like a dark chocolate cake in like a little cylindrical shape. And it had like a chocolate coating along the bottom. This one was very, very rich and much denser than the other cake. And I don't like chocolate as much as Amir, nor do I like sweet things as much as Amir. So I didn't like this chocolate cake as much as the other chocolate cake. This one was my favorite. It was so good. It was like a nice chocolatey brownie on top with a nice dark hard chocolate at the bottom. Oh, it was so delicious. Loved it. I wish you would have told me I would have ate you. <laughs> mm. Next, we had strawberries dipped in chocolate, which is simple, but still very delicious. The strawberries were ripe, so they were sweet. And then paired with the chocolate, 
it was really good. It was a nice way to finish off the tea. What did you think? You know, I agree with you as far as being simple, but it was one of the best dipped strawberries I've ever had. I know, and why yeah. is that? I don't know why. Um, I always maybe I, Paul, do you have a chocolate? Maybe. It was really good. So, what was your favorite here? The strawberry mousse thing. It was delicious. It was so fresh. How about you? It would be between the brownie cake or the strawberry. And then, as part of the afternoon tea, they invited us to go have a cocktail, and it had to be inside the restaurant because they don't have a liquor license for outdoors. So we went in. We each got a voucher for thirty-five dollars. And it's hard to find a cocktail for thirty-five dollars in Vancouver, so I just looked at the menu and chose the second most expensive cocktail I could find, which was the Empress Gin and Tonic. And what did you have? Well, Diana says it's impossible to find a cocktail for thirty-five dollars in Vancouver. That's not true at all. Let me tell you this: I got the Dalmore Scotch Twelve Year. The two ounce was, how much was it, $29 or whatever? Mm -hmm. Guess how much was a 30 year Dalmore for a two ounce? $900. Can you believe that? I said cocktail, I didn't say scotch or whiskey. Well. My drink was beautiful. This gin is like a purpley blue color and it had like tonic water. I'm not sure what else, but really that gin color is such a pretty color, such a beautiful drink. And I like gin and tonic. I felt like after having tea and all that liquid already and all those little sandwiches and sweets, it was hard to finish a cocktail, but I did it. It was something I would order again. What did you think of your whiskey? I thought it was a really good scotch. Nice and smooth. Loved it. I'm a big scotch fan, so I enjoyed it. I would have a whole bottle. I want to try the $900 one, though. I want, I want to see how good that shit is. I tried some of a mere scotch. Not a pleasant thing to drink, in my opinion. What did you think of my cocktail? Oh, it was okay. Just gin and whatever, whatever it was. It was. Well, wasn't it pretty? It was very pretty. We're going to rate this experience as a whole rather than rating every single thing that we tried in our afternoon tea. Otherwise, this is going to be a one hour episode. <laughs> Shall we? Yes. One, one two, two, three. Oh, you only gave it a three? Three is not bad. Holy! Amir, please tell me, why did you not enjoy this experience thoroughly? The experience itself was really good. It was a lot of fun being on there with you. Always, you know, I love you. I like spending time with you. So that was amazing. But not the best afternoon tea I've had. Was it the best afternoon tea you had? It wasn't necessarily altogether the best afternoon tea. Like some of the items I wasn't a huge fan of, but this is like an experience. I've never had the opportunity or seen the opportunity anywhere else to be sitting in a display window. That was a little weird on its, its own too, wasn't it? I mean, it was, I don't know, it wasn't like it was tight, you couldn't hardly move. Yeah, like... but obviously people were very curious because they were taking pictures and just double taking. So, I mean, I don't think I'm going to have the chance to sit in a display window other than this opportunity. Unless was that someone... like a dream of yours, like growing up? Like just <laughs> to sit in a display window and have food? Yes, I want to be a live mannequin. <laughs> That's what it felt like. <laughs> I know. Um, and again, I think it's very cool that they created a menu for us to have. I think it was just fun. It was different. Yeah, experience was good, but after all, this is a food channel. That's true. Components of it were good. Right. Others not as great. So let me ask you this. Would you do it again next year? I wouldn't do it again because I know what it's like already. It was just kind of a one time like, oh, well, it's pretty cool. Let's see what it's like. Mm. And again, I really wanted this to be 
possibly an opportunity to share our channel with other people who aren't vegans, but you know, just see us and are curious, and maybe that'll pique some interest in veganism. Take a look at this episode of another vegan afternoon tea we had, and you'll have to see if Amir liked it better than this one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.